As some of you guys know, in the last couple of months, I've recently transitioned from my security operations role as a threat analyst to most recently a security engineering role as a cloud threat detection engineer at Datadog. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about some differences in those two uh, domains of cybersecurity and just my experience uh, working in this role and in this domain for the last three months, specifically at Datadog. So let's just get right into it. The very first thing I've noticed is a huge increase in my total compensation. So I've almost nearly doubled my total compensation from my role as a threat analyst to my role as a detection engineer uh, at Datadog. Very, very noticeable increase in my total compensation. And I'm pretty sure this is because of like the fact that uh, security engineering skills are in high demand and specifically cloud security skills are in high demand so like there's you know higher salaries and just like working at you know bigger companies like bigger tech companies like Datadog uh, definitely tend to uh, offer like huge salaries as well as other compensation that include like uh, stocks rest restricted stock units so that definitely has been one of the major differences I've experienced from my security operations role to my most recent role. The second thing I've noticed is it's a different set of skills required. So in security operations, you're basically using tools, just analyzing logs, um, malicious activity, and all of those things. But now working in security engineering and specifically cloud threat detection engineering for a product, it's completely different. Uh, now I'm having to, you know, think from different perspectives rather than just like an analyst perspective so i'm having to think more like an engineer and i think the way an analyst thinks is a way different from an, what the way an engineer thinks so i feel like analysts think more in terms of like step-by-step -step processes to analyze malicious activity in general because that's mostly what you're doing right basically using sims edrs and different security solutions for your general analysis but as someone who is actually building a security product for uh that's specifically for cloud security i'm having to think differently so i'm having to think uh as an engineer as well as an analyst because um you know people who are going to be using the product they ha they're thinking from a different perspective so sometimes i have to uh wear the hat of that person and in this case i'm no longer thinking as an analyst sometimes i think as a devops engineer or as a security engineer or a cloud security engineer because um in this case not many uh, organizations are you know typically uh, running like full-scale cloud security operations centers so people who are working in like cloud security monitoring and using like cloud sim products are typically not the, like security analysts sometimes they might be but they mostly would be uh, people like devops engineers or like security engineers or cloud administrators so i'm having to think like those people when i'm writing like those detections for the cloud sim product so it's a whole different mindset i have to get into and also a whole different set of skills so now i'm having to learn about uh, all three cloud environments so aws azure gcp kubernetes and other things as well prior to working at, at datadog i never you know touched gcp before but most recently i've been doing a lot of research on gcp learning more about the platform learning more about like the different services and like uh you know the security vulnerabilities and how to like detect those vulnerabilities for our product so it's like a different you know mindset uh, entirely from when i was working as a threat analyst uh when i was using like tools like splunk like curator uh crowdstrike and all of those things to analyze uh you know different malicious activities activities i am no longer doing that i'm now actually building the tools that potential analysts in the future might be using and um, it's a different mindset i have to get into and i really like it because it's like solving a lot of problems uh I, i'm thinking from a perspective of someone who wants to solve problems and wants to like own different problems and that's another thing i want to talk about so um now working is in an engineering position i get to own a problem which is a concept i'm pretty new to so Owning a problem pretty much means like, you know, there's something that needs to be fixed to something that needs to be solved or there's a particular problem and you find it and then you look for the solution to that problem. And what that means is like, for example, if there's a feature or there's a certain thing, uh, you know, in the product or in the detection that I think needs to be fixed or needs to be added or, uh, or basically makes, you know, our, our work easier or our lives easier or our product better. I can go and look for a solution to that problem, uh, meaning that I own that problem. So I look for other, you know, stakeholders or individual contributors or other engineers uh, that might be able to help me solve that problem. And I figure out a way to solve that problem. So I get to own problems and solve problems. And that is like, you know, something I was never exposed to as an analyst. And I'm really enjoying that because um, I think I, I've always been someone who 
you know, finds problems. I want to solve those problems and learning now to own those problems and uh, figure out solutions to those problems is, you know, fun for me. And I think it's a really, really great learning experience for me now working as a security engineer. So in general, the skill sets are way different um, from an analysis to problem solving, which are two different skill sets. So I would say that that's another major thing that I've experienced since my transition. The other thing I've experienced since my transition is working with a different set of individuals. So uh, working in security operations, um, I was, you know, I worked with some pretty smart and talented people, but now I work with like, you know, a different set of individuals, like people who are really, really leading um, the forefront of like uh, cloud security engineering or cloud security research. Uh, cloud threat detection engineering. We have a really, really div diverse, diverse team at Datadog, and we have a really, really group of smart, like security researchers, uh, detection engineers, and um, you know, uh, security engineers in general. So. Uh, being able to work with those people or just being around them and being able to like uh, learn from them, absorb their knowledge, collaborate with them on different like, uh, you know, work tasks is really, really amazing for me because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not the smartest person in the room, which is awesome because I'm getting to learn something new from each and every individual on the team, like one way or, the, on, on the, or another, because there's a lot of sh knowledge sharing and there's a lot of like collaboration uh, from different perspectives. So it's a lot of learning for me and and being exposed to these different really really smart and smart individuals is awesome for me because i really love learning and i love learning from people and being able to learn from those people is like you know adding more and more and more and more to my knowledge base and for me that's just like freaking awesome another thing i've noticed is a better work-life balance so working as an analyst i was definitely burnt out um you know working like 10 11 hour shifts um i think i don't think i ever worked 12 hour shifts but uh, yeah, working like those really, really long shifts was definitely, definitely burning me out as well as the fact that, you know, working like different time periods. So um, I had my shifts changed so many times due to the fact that um, I was like, I, I, I changed my roles like really, really fast. So like there was a, there was a lot of like, you know, changes in my shift schedules. Uh, I, I, you know, I had a really fast like progression from three analyst one to three analyst two uh, within like four months. So like my shift changed from like when I started to like uh, a, a, a normal rotational shift. And then when I was transitioning from three analyst one to three analyst two, there was another rotation again. So like my sleep schedule was entirely messed up um and also just coming from a previous role as as a suck analyst where i was working night shifts like i was so used to being up at night i'm like way productive at night um but also at the same time i'm burnt out because uh working at night um i have the day to like you know do other things i want to do like school and other projects so i wouldn't sleep in the night i would sleep during the day and i just like would be totally burnt out but now working as an engineer i've been a lot more conscious about you know sleeping and like making sure i'm well rested so that i can be more productive during the day and that has really really helped me uh, be more productive and have a better work-life balance in general so i find that um you know i'm i'm, I'm working better right i am feeling refreshed um, you know, I'm more uh, productive, more effective, and you know, I'm learning more at the same time compared to like when I was back uh, as an analyst and I was doing all of these things, but I was burnt out at the same time, like at the same rate. But now it's like even at the same rate, I'm getting more sleep, you know, I'm more effective, I'm, I'm learning more, I'm more productive during the day, and it's like a whole it's way better work-life balance so it's been really really great and also like organizations where you know you have like unlimited pto working back as, as a third analyst i had a limited pto but i couldn't really use it except someone was available to cover my shift so if i didn't have anyone to cover my shift then i couldn't i i i, I could couldn't really take pto like that or like it was harder to take pto because i always had to find someone to cover my shift and that was usually a hassle. But now, like, you know, I don't, I'm not working shifts anymore. I, you know, I, I have more autonomy over my work. So I'm no longer stressed about, oh, I have to like make sure someone is around to cover my work because I know that I can get my work done at any time. And if I take PTO, I still have enough time to get back to do my work, you know, during our, you know, general sprint. So it's like way, way, way better work-life balance. And um, it's way better work-life balance. That's all I can really say about that. Another thing about the transition has been continuous learning opportunities. So I've been learning a lot. Like I said, I, I, I work, you know, with AWS, Azure, Kubernetes, and like a lot of other things that I'm, I, you know, I can't really mention. Um, but you know, I'm able to work across a wide variety of technologies. Um, you know, analyze like different logs from different environments. 
um, and you know, write detections for these things. And also, like, I'm able to learn you know various aspects of cloud. So like, uh, understanding like cloud ar architecture, understanding like the offensive side of cloud. Because uh, for a, a lot of detections, I have to like understand how the attacks work, and then also the defensive side. You know, how to like analyze these different logs and figure out ways to write detections for them. Uh, detection severities. You know, uh, anomaly learning periods. Like so many many things. Like it's so much learning packed into one. And also just like you know collaborating with other teams and just like continuous and constant learning opportunities like it's always something you have to learn like for example like i said like i previously haven't really had any experience with gcp before i started working at data dog and most recently i've been able to learn a whole lot about gcp um and you know being able to like do a lot of research about gcp and you know write some detections on like some gcp services so it's been like you know a really really great learning experience for me because i'm able to like tinker around with these different technologies find specific uh you know vulnerabilities or like specific things that are out there that attackers are exploiting in these different services and then write the de detections against them so i learned how the attackers exploit them and then i, I learned how to like actually defend against these different exploits or attacks and for me like that's awesome like it's like Disneyland, right? It's like having access to so many rides and so many things, but in, in this case, having access to so much knowledge, to so many smart people, to incredible technologies and being able to like just, you know, consume all of it and just like learn and learn and learn and learn and learn and, learn and build all of this knowledge and experience. So really, really awesome. And the final thing about my transition is having a really great team and a really great manager. So I've been blessed to have a really, really, really awesome manager. As a matter of fact, like, you know, in my opinion, like, this is, like, the best, like, manager I've had in my entire career so far. Um, like, you know, it, it's a whole different experience, right? Um, you know, having, like, teammates who, you know, generally care about your well-being and generally, and generally you know, care, care about the work that we're doing because what we're doing is, like, we're actually, like, you know, leading a specific field. And it's really awesome to work with, you know, like-minded individuals who are really passionate about this stuff and are also really 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 smart people and yeah it's really really it's a really really great experience um i don't regret it at all and i'm super excited to be in this field and also to be working at data dog because like it's just a really awesome experience um everyone is really smart and everyone really embodies like the same culture of like humility you know being freaking smart and just like respecting everyone and also being passionate about the work that we're doing like when we're on meetings like everyone is like it's always like really really jovial we're always like having like laughs about different things and everyone is just really awesome you know we take our work seriously but we also don't really take ourselves you know too seriously you know in in some cases but like it's really really awesome to be in that you know environment and just like um having access to all of these things and it's really really great so uh I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover about my transition. Uh, this is like the three months, the three month mark at Data Dog, and you know the three month mark at my transition. So, um, you know, I have so many, so much more time to go. Uh, I'm looking to spend, you know, a very good amount of time in this role, and you know, you know, really, really learning and really, really growing in this uh, because you know it's something that I really love. I'm really passionate about, you know, the the company, the job, the team, and everything. So, super exciting. Um, continuous learning. Um, I'm I'm still learning about you know cloud and stuff like that. Uh, I think the learning never ends, but it's fun, and um, I get to do what I love. Uh, you know what I find fun for work. So, and you know what they say, like if you you know if you find fun in your work, something like that, like you never have to work a day in your life. So um, that's really awesome. So that's really it for this video. Um, that really covers my transition from like security operations to security engineering, specifically cloud security engineering and more specifically crowd threat detection engineering for data dog uh that was a mouthful but um yeah i hope you like this video um if you want to see more videos about like you know uh working at data dog or like day in the life videos and stuff like that you know i'll definitely be happy to make more of these videos of course you know i can, there's some things i can't say you know of course because like can't say everything uh but um i'm definitely happy to make more of these videos or like you know videos and like advice on like things that can help you if you're looking to transition from security operations to security engineering because i think uh there's so many skills that could be really really helpful uh with your uh transition uh either you know it's security engineering or cloud security engineering or cloud threat detection engineering uh whatever it is i think um i can provide some uh you know pretty solid advice on like things that can you know help you in that transition so if you're interested in that just leave a comment down below and um I'll be happy to make uh, videos on that.
With that said, um, that's it for today's video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, subscribe, like the video, comment, all that fun stuff, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.